Council at the Homer Conference Room. Oops. That was a little tight through here, I guess. Mark, you ready for this? Today's Parks Day. Absolutely. I even upgraded my ride with this sweet horn. That's got nothing on my new bell. Uh, horn. Bell. Most definitely horn. Mark, I'm the boss. It's a bell. Good morning. Hi. Welcome to Linford Playfield. We're looking forward to visiting some of our parks today. Yeah, today we're gonna look at um, three of our parks. We wanted to kind of show the process that we've gone through and we wanted to show one that is at the beginning stages of that process. We're gonna go to Dawson next, which is kind of in the middle. Yep. And then we'll stop off at Mayfair, which has completed the first phase of its community work. Yep. We can't have great parks without communities coming to participate in the park. One of the issues that we have repeatedly heard from was the condition of our parks, the lack of maintenance and upkeep. I set about trying to get some money into deferred maintenance. We've taken out some old buildings, old dilapidated buildings that were here and were not being used. We're working on designing a fully accessible trail that will go around the play fields here. That seems to be the number one thing that yep. constituents want in their parks. Yes, repeatedly. The interest in these play fields and getting them back up and operating started with the public. It was the community that said, we want this play field or this park improved. Right, exactly. And that's that whole part of, it's the community that makes our parks successful and make our parks great. All right, we're off to Dawson. All right, I'll see you guys there. It's only a couple miles. Only Dawson. a couple miles and this should be a piece of cake. A walk in the park. <laughs> <laughs> For a kid not really having much growing up, I got bikes all the time because I, they kept getting stolen. I spent a whole summer delivering papers, saving up to buy a bike. Saved 120 bucks. I had it for 10 days before it got stolen because I didn't lock it up. Beautiful ride. Hi guys, welcome to Dawson Park. Explain to me where they are in the process. We came out to the community and told them how much money we had and projects that fit into that budget and asked them really what they wanted. What they chose was a spray park. Another choice that they wanted was the walking trail. And the walking trail is the one thing that has been used probably consistently yeah. since, you know, years and years ago. It's never been much of a basketball facility here or a court. It looks like that's one of the major improvements that yeah. they've done here in the uh -huh. last few years. The rims aren't bent, there's nets, right. the court's lined. The community was really having problems with the basketball courts back in 2014 and 2015. They were in terrible shape. So our maintenance folks came out and rebuilt those courts. When we make a small investment, we reclaim it. And you know, the public now sees it as a place that it's for them to right. be in somewhere safe and secure. And that's really what we want. We want our parks to, to, to attract the community and attract the elements right. that we're looking to help build community. Right. So Kimberly, where's our next stop? Mayfair Playfield. Hey, let's make this exciting. We'll race you there. <laughs> Remember Christmas morning when I was five. I wasn't supposed to go out, right? Yeah. And that thing was on its kickstand, and on its side. I thought I'd just get on it. Fell right into the tree, knocked the tree down. <laughs> I, got, I got in so much, so my dad got up. Hey! Where have you been? Sorry, Portland Avenue was brutal. Here we are at Mayfair. Give us a brief background on what Mayfair is and what the history is. So Mayfair Park is about five acres here in the Parkland Spanaway community right on Clover Creek. Three, four years ago, you get a phone call from a constituent concerned about the park. You and I talked about it. We said, Let's get Pierce County Parks on it and see what we can do. So what happened was back in 2015, these two people, Christina and Jesse, 
really wanted to see a park here. You guys found some money in the budget and we figured out if we could do a volunteer build out here, we save a lot more money and we can reignite this park. Their group, as you say, of two grew to about 50. If you don't have the support that we had, it can almost be impossible. Right. So in the upcoming budget, we are looking at some monies here in 2020 and we're really wanting to know what does the community want? Do they want a trail around the park? Would they like more plantings and more beautification, picnic tables? The decision is gonna be led by the community. Exactly. Again. Such a different approach than when I started with the county 29 years ago, mm -hmm. it was top down. You know, we came and delivered something. Right. Now we're listening and we're getting people what they actually need. Right. We don't know what's best for the community. The community knows what it right. needs and they just need to tell us. Kimberly, I want to thank you for coming out with us today. Oh, you're welcome. It was a great day. Good opportunity to get out and enjoy the parks. Thanks, right. Kimberly. Can we go play now? Let's go. Hey, wait. Come on, give me your head. Give me your head. <laughs> give me your head. <laughs> What in the world do you think this does? Holy crap. <laughs> When's the last time you went down a slide? Rick, it's probably good. You jump off. You jump off. Oh! The world is spinning. <laughs>